Hello students. In this video of aldehydes and ketones, the name reaction which we are discussing is Canis arrows reaction as you see. The reaction has got two more names. It is also called self redox reaction and it is also called auto redox reaction or it is also called disproportionation reaction. Basically disproportionation reaction is that reaction in which the same species undergoes oxidation as well as reduction and such a self oxidation reduction reaction is, 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 is the one in which the same species at the same time undergoes oxidation and reduction. So it's disproportionation reaction. Another very important fact which a student should have in mind is in its criteria of whether a molecule can undergo Canis arrows reaction or no, the basic condition is the molecule which is not having alpha hydrogen, the molecule which is devoid of alpha hydrogen can undergo Canis arrows reaction like benzaldehyde formaldehyde will show Canis arrows reaction if you remember in aldol condensation the situation was exactly opposite that is the molecules having alpha hydrogen can undergo aldol condensation the molecule having alpha hydrogen can undergo aldol condensation and it takes place in presence of dilute base like NUH, KOH, Berita, etc. Now the OH minus which is the species obtained from the base, OH minus say it is obtained from NUH. Then that OH minus behaves as a base and it abstracts alpha H in aldol condensation. But in Canizaro's reaction, that OH minus cannot behave as base because there is no alpha H, no acidic H, but it will behave as a nucleophile and it will attack the carbonyl carbon and not the alpha H because alpha H is not there only. Now for the NUH to behave as a nucleophile that is its OH minus to behave as a nucleophile it has to attack carbonyl carbon and that attack is pretty difficult and that is why Canis arrows is done in presence of concentrated NUH unlike aldol which is in presence of dilute NUH. Now I am writing the reaction students. First, I'm writing simple general plane reaction and then I'll be writing the mechanism. So we take a molecule of formaldehyde, then over here we don't need one, but we need two molecules of formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is selected because in Canis arrows reaction, I can take the aldehyde which is devoid of alpha H and we know formaldehyde is not having alpha carbon only so how will it have alpha H now one of the molecule of aldehyde will undergo oxidation and for oxidation it will undergo oxidation like this formaldehyde on oxidation gives formic acid we know aldehydes on oxidation give carboxylic acid and the other molecule will undergo reduction and we know aldehydes on reduction give alcohol, primary alcohol, so formaldehyde that is methanol on reduction gives methyl alcohol that is methanol. Now we know this is an acid and this is a base and acid and base will definitely react with each other and this OH will finally become ONA. So the product is sodium formate also called as sodium methanoate. And this product is methyl alcohol and it is also called meth 
cannot. This is the molecule of formaldehyde that is meet and al. So formaldehyde that is methanol and a little bit of warming the reaction is required so sign of heat. Now we take the molecule of benzaldehyde here is the molecule of benzaldehyde concentrated heat and we will be getting one of the molecule will undergo oxidation and another one will undergo reduction so this is how oxidation takes place and another molecule of benzaldehyde undergoes reduction to give us benzyl alcohol so I got sodium benzoate. Students, this is benzenal, also called benzaldehyde, also called benzene carbaldehyde. And the alcohol which is obtained is benzyl alcohol. I'll just write the name. This is benzyl alcohol, also called phenylmethanol. That is the IUPAC name, phenylmethanol. Okay, now we see mechanism of aldol condensation. So I'm queuing the heading over here. Mechanism, mechanism, mechanism. So let's see the mechanism. Yep. Now. Say we take formaldehyde. Okay, now I know we're making use of concentrated NUH. Concentrated NUH, this is OH minus. This will behave as a nucleophile because we know. There is no acidic H, there is no alpha H, there is no alpha carbon only, forget the alpha H. So this behaves as a nucleophile and attacks this carbonyl carbon, the electropositive, electrophilic center of the molecule. What I'm getting is like this. This OH comes here and moment it comes here this moves up so this oxygen takes that negative charge and here there is a H correct now this will again change will resonate this comes here this is resonance and this H is out with the with the electrons with the two electrons of the bond so we will be getting H, C, O and this bond formed over here, this one and this OH and this H out with the two electrons in the form of a negative charge and this is called hydride ion and that is why aldol condensation is known as the hydride ion mechanism or hydride transfer mechanism so that's the hydride transfer mechanism yeah so allyl condensation is the hydride transfer mechanism now this molecule will get converted to the salt so one of the molecule of aldehyde gives sodium salt of carboxylic acid on oxidation so this is oxidation this is oxidation now students the other molecule just keep on looking at the bird I take the other molecule of formaldehyde it's here 
and this molecule of formaldehyde will be attacked by the hydride attack. So this behaves as a nucleophile now. This behaves as an electrophile, the electrophilic center. And so we get the molecule. Finally, we get the product, and the product is HCH NH here, and we get O NH here. So that's the way this H is removed. You see, this you get here. So the other molecule of formaldehyde undergoes reduction to give methanol. So this is the mechanism. Now something very, very important. What about the cross canny reaction? Cross canny zeros reaction. We are in either taking one molecule of uh, say a benzaldehyde and let's take another molecule of formaldehyde. Now there is a competition and the competition is that this OH minus which is behaving as a nucleophile will attack this electrophilic center or will attack this electrophilic center. That will attack this carbonyl carbon of formaldehyde or the carbonyl carbon of benzaldehyde. That's the competition. Obviously, this is more electrophilic. This is having conjugation. This is resistive towards attack of the nucleophile. This will react readily. This is having an EWG which will reduce its reactivity. So this will react readily and we will be getting HCOONA. This is the oxidation product. And then we have got a molecule of benzaldehyde which will be attacked by the hydride which is released from here and it will get converted to benzyl alcohol which is the product of reduction reduction so oxidation reduction so whenever there is a cross canis arrows reaction between formaldehyde benzaldehyde with concentrated NOH we will be getting oxidized product from formaldehyde and the reduced product from benzaldehyde and hence formaldehyde and benzaldehyde on cross canis arrow reaction with concentrated NOH little bit of warming 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 little bit of warming little bit of warming will give benzyl alcohol due to reduction and sodium formate due to simultaneous oxidation such a reaction where the same species undergo oxidation reduction simultaneously is called disproportionation reaction. I hope this is clear to everybody. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Love and blessings to all of you.